Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Abacus 10 Light. This is the one that's going to be coming off a square canopy, 139051. If you're familiar, Hubbardton Forge won a very prestigious design award for this. You should check that out on their website. It's very cool. Let's get into dimensions on this. So, so this is coming off a canopy, like I said, that is square, 24 inches square. The size of the fixture itself is 35 0.5 by 27.2 um, and that's going to be kind of made up of a, a, a bunch of different size well two sizes of these glass spheres that are kind of arranged in different ways and, and you can arrange them basically however you like it's this a, a piece that you can really design and make it just exactly your own uh, if you're familiar with the abacus fixtures what happens is you have a canopy up in the ceiling and you have cables that are coming down and you're going to be able to take these different spheres that have endpoints on them that you push in and you basically release and then you're going to be feeding the cables into those sliding them up and getting them to where you want them to be and then when you're done you just you know let go release and it stays right there which is really cool very really beautiful fixture especially in applications I've seen over stairways where you're looking up at it it's just really great you can be as short as 60 and as long as 100 on this inches overall height like I said, the canopy is going to be a 24-inch square. I want to show you more information about that. And how we're going to do it is we're going to look at the installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on this side of the screen, midway down. You're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. So hop in there and open that up for me. It's going to show you a lot of great information. It's going to show you, this is, well, it's going to show you the canopy, how, it's, uh, how it works out. So it has a transformer in there that's going to transform your line voltage down to low voltage. And these are obviously safe to touch because it's a low voltage fixture. And, and they're going to be feeding all of these uh, different glass modules, are called, on this. <clears throat> and uh, like I said before, you have quite a few of these. So um, 10, obviously, because it's called a 10 light. Let's hop over again to those cable, they're called cable rails, basically, because you're going to be bringing these up and down. They kind of act as rails, which is kind of cool. Um, let's talk about the uh, finish. I'm going to talk more about finishes later in the, um, the uh, video, but let's just talk about the canopy itself has what's called a can, and that's going to be the upper part of it that's attached to your ceiling. That's always going to be in black, and then the face plate is the one where you're going to be choosing your uh, finish. So that's going to be important when you're looking at finishes on this. Okay, so moving on from there, let's talk about the glass on this. So you're going to have two options for the type of glass. One is going to be opaque and the other is going to be transparent. The transparent one is called cool gray. You're going to be able to see through it and you'll notice there's a light bar in there. And then the other one is called opal and that's going to be a, an opaque glass. You're not going to be able to see through it. So it's just going to be a white opaque glass. Uh, as far as what's inside of this, what you have are these de dedicated, you can see a picture next to me and it's got a cutaway. So it's going to be showing you the dedicated light bar with the LEDs inside of this. And the two different sizes have different amounts of these LEDs inside. So you basically have six of them that have a three watt strip of uh, strips actually of LEDs going inside. And then four of them that are six watt, which are the larger ones. So Keep all that in mind. It's a dimmable fixture. You're going to be able to dim this with no problem. You want to tell your installer that you want to put a uh, switch on the wall, a dimmer switch that's set up for LEDs, and that's going to be very important for you too. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, 
pictures that have the letter B on them. And I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Harbertson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardton Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Harbertson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.